watch, Sturgeon torn apart during car crash interview as she fumbles cost of independence. Nicola Sturgeon suffered a car crash interview when she came under questioning about the costs of her dream of an independent Scotland from Channel 4 News Scottish correspondent, Kieran Jenkins. M. Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland and SNP leader said on Channel 4 News, I don't have all these figures right at the tip of my fingers right now. But the point here is what we're trying to do with Social Security within the devolved context is separate out some aspects of Social Security while the DWP still retains 85% of control. That is a different proposition to setting up an independent agency now. We will go through all of this, we went through all of this in 2014 and people can say you can never ver do these things. Actually what you find when you go through this process is that these are not the barriers many people seem to think that they are. Mr. Jenkins said, I'm just trying to get a sense of whether the costs are realistic. The report says £450 million, it's costing at least £200 million currently to set up a Scottish Social Security Agency. It cost you £178 million to set up an IT system to pay farmers. That is almost your entire budget for setting up a new country. M. Sturgeon claims the SNP conference will be a stepping stone to separation following last month's publication of Rebooted Economic Case for Independence. The Scottish First Minister said she is not considering the time frame and has not made a decision on when to propose an independence referendum. She added, What I think is important now is that we debate the substance of whether or not Scotland should be an independent country. A report today for the National Centre for Social Research revealed the SNP suffered a significant collapse in support in the general election among Eurosceptics. Brexit backing Scots supported M. Sturgeon's SNP by a majority of 51% at the 2015 general election. However, in last year's snap election, only 36% of them backed the Scottish Independence Party. In 2017's vote, the SNP lost 21 of their 56 seats, knocking prominent figures Alex Salmond and Angus Robertson out of Westminster. The SNP's support among Europhiles slipped marginally from 49% in 2015 to 47% in 2017, according to the survey of 1,234 Scots.